Hello everybody, welcome to another episode, or sorry, the first episode of uh, Jurassic World Alive Fixes, Jua Fixes. This is like the first episode of like rebranding it again, or like bringing it back, it's complicated. Even if, it, if I come back with the other channel, it, it's just a whole mess. Uh, so basically, why, when my channel went down, I knew how exactly I was going to bring back all the other shows. But then I thought, what about what about Jua Fixes? Everyone really likes the, the things I do, like coming up with the fixes and telling me how, how if they disagree, or if they agree, how they prefer to do it, what species they want to add in the game, and all that stuff. It's just a fun talking with everyone, seeing everyone's different opinions, their side of everything. And then I thought, how am I going to bring it back to my channel? And the, will people still watch? I mean, sure, we will have people watching, but it's like, will it be as popular as it was back on the old channel? And I was also figuring out, how am I going to bring it back? Am I going to just do it like... Am I just going to do like the first episode? How Like, what was the first episode going to be? Since it's like episode one all over again. And I want, and I have this new system where it's like... Something like eps like the first episode is something random, then the next three are like a specific animation group that's completely reworked every single species, and then finishing off the episode five, or like the fifth episode is like a Discord ideas, and I think I'm gonna, instead of going with the whole hours of just going through everything, I'm just gonna like time myself every 30 minutes so then it can make things a little more speedy, and so on. It's actually been pretty quiet on the, the on the, the Jua Ideas half of Discord, but that's probably because I haven't uploaded a single episode yet, so it's like, if they add any more, and I'm gonna be super struggling. But for now, let's just uh, keep going. I decided how I wanna do this is, uh, this first episode will just go through uh, a quick recap of everything I've ever made, including some things that have yet to be seen yet. Starting with, this episode will just be a bunch of like new creatures I made up, whether they be like to go as an extra species I added, like, I did all the stegosaurs and I want to add an extra species to it or so on like that and then we'll just go on from there like then we'll introduce like creatures I uh, from the dinosaur king ones to the wyverns and all that it's just gonna be completely random we'll just go through every creature new creature here this is not scripted as usual so and we're also gonna skip all the DK ones so we don't need any of these guys here none of that Gonna start with Ceratosaurus Gen 2, which has actually changed a bit since uh, last time you saw it. Uh, I took the idea from Prehistoric Bean, where he had his Intimidation ability, where it was like an auto the enemy makes an automatic swap, where it's a bit of a gamble. Like, I took that idea, so shout out to Prehistoric Bean for the idea of Intimidation, even though now there is an ability called Intimidating Impact, which is unfortunately not as good as Determined Impact or... Uh, daring strike or whatever they are they're called but uh, what I did with this one is I made it a wild card want to make it like some sort of uh, special I paired up the intimidation with uh, on escape shattering strike where it uh, when something tries to escape it breaks shields bypass armor and attack so it's like it forces someone to uh, swap out and then it'll get to trigger its on escape ability rather than just wait for them to do it how fast is it pretty fast all the resistances and speed are all the same, and if, although you, you can take a, I'm gonna slowly scroll down so you can take a look at the Ceratosaurus. This is Gen 2 variant because it's like, why is it taking so long for Ceratosaurus to be in the game? That's like a super popular dinosaur, isn't it? It's like one of the most popular. Skipping all the Dinosaur King ones, since that's a video for another day. There's even some, uh, some here that have yet to be introduced, oh boy, okay. Then we have uh, Labyrinthodontia, which was made in the Amphibians episode, if anyone remembers that. I think this was meant to be like a Coolosaurus, a Coolosuchus type of creature, where they're like group, where he uses group nullifying strike, group distraction, nullifying counter instead of enemy to distractions. Nothing too special here, just your average cunning. Luso Titan, that one, I'm not, I don't know much about Luso Titan. I just know it's in Dinosaur Revolution, and I liked it. It might be, it might have been renamed, it's been a while. I don't keep up with the facts. Has like basically similar stats to like your average Brachiosaur, because I did, Sauropods was another one I want to do in the future. But it's like I didn't know how to tackle it or whatever. Next up we have uh, Meganura. This is another favorite of mine. It has terrible stats, because I just want it to be like a swap in Kamikaze. 
It just swaps in, deals massive damage to the enemy, and then deals massive damage to itself. And then everything else is just like, whatever. Then we have Pteranodon Gen 2. I do plan when I get to the Pteranodon episode, which might be episode 2. Then I'll just add a lot more Pterosaurs, because I feel like that was a missed opportunity. I could have added a whole lot more. I could have added, like... Geo, Burgo, whatever it's called, like, completely forgot its name, or like, there, there's just a lot of them. Tropi Ignathus is another good one to have. Uh, I don't think I changed a single thing about it, at least as far as I can remember. Sign Ornithosaurus, does it still have that freedom, that special passive I made for it? Yes, it does. I changed it to a flock, apparently. Uh, it has no restoration abilities, though, so might need a rework in the future. And finally, Styracosaurus, this one you've never seen before. It's just your average resilience, except it uses Stunning Obstruction, which I was... I made an ability exactly like this before. So then, but then when they came up with Stunning Obstruction, I'm like, oh, oh, this is a thing now. I hope they make a Ceratopsian with it. Because they should. It just makes sense. Moving on to, uh, no, not that. To the rares. We got Archeornithomimus when I was going to do the Chicken Mimic episode. What did I change here? Oh, what, I mean, what did I add? I think I just reversed it. Yeah, I just reversed distraction and evasive impact and gave it some minimal resistances. Then we have Arthloplura, which is a really fun one. Uh, Superiority Strike, Mr. DNA Bless. Okay, these are the two abilities. You can have a read of them. They're combined together. This thing is just like insane to have. And of course it has like 90% armor in exchange for its terrible HP and its terrible damage and its terrible speed, terrible stats whatsoever. Chaos! Ah, oh, this is one of the first ones I made. Ah, memories. The Camp Cretaceous episode. Cleansing, Shattering, Strike, Ready to Crush, Group Shattering, Impact. And yeah, I still really wish that the Baryonyx... Actually, I'm not as excited. I'm like, I do want the Berries trio, the Berries Grim, to be added to Jurassic World Live. But I'm not as excited for them as I was in the past. Like, I'm still leaning towards adding Toro in the game, rather than Chaos, Grim, and Limbo. Bumpy is in the game, so thank goodness for that. There are actually quite a few uh, um, uh, dr dr uh, Dinosaur King characters in here. I'm only now just realizing just how many Dinosaur King characters I made into rares. Uh, anyway, uh, Dreadnoughtus is here. What did I do with you? Shield, Devastation, Medium Impact, me Medium Resilient Encounter. Uh, I I'm planning on reworking that one in the future. Honestly, not sure where I want to go with it, though. Then we have Edmontonia. What did I do with you? I'm still struggling to figure out how I want to rework the Ankylosaurs, because I feel like I didn't do much with them last time. And now I'm just stuck in a limbo of how do I make them good without making them OP, because vulnerability is actually really strong. Especially now that it's mostly relevant. Limbo! There's another, there's the other Baryonyx that I wanted to add. And did I, did I make it like a, a mix? Yeah, good for PvP and PvE. Macrochenia, no picture for her. I made this one a cunning over a resilient because I want it to be a cunning. Sidestep, cunning, rampage, evasive impact, swap and dodge, has the freedom skill where it has a cooldown, where all cooldowns and delays are decreased by one. Therefore, evasive impact and rampage, it can just, it can always go for cunning rampage. And Evasive Impact will only have a cooldown of 1, so that's basically how I wanted it to be. Then we have Megalania. Did I rework you? I did not. You are exactly the same as you were before. Then we have Gnarly, my little uh, nar fan-made narwhal. No one knows who this is. Still figuring out what I'm going to do with you. Anyway, moving on, we have Packy Rhinosaurus. Brazilian Strike, Dig In, Greater Stunning Strike, Stunning Obstruction. Again, same story as the Styracosaurus, which should... Again, these are two dinosaurs that should be added to the game by now, but for some reason they're not. Paraceratherium Gen 2, originally called Indrucotherium. So, unfortunately, Indrucotherium and Paraceratherium are now the same thing, which is sad. Made it a fierce because they wanted to just, uh... You know what, it's a big thing, I don't want to make another resilient, I just wanted to make something big and strong and powerful, and boom, there it is. Really low damage. So that's why it has like uh, to because has like damage boosting abilities and distraction resistances. So it's all compensated for. Platy Belladon was meant to be a raid type creature that had like the survival ability. When it, you can read that yourself, I'm not gonna read it myself. So so to save time, taunting Bellow, dig in, taunt, shielding, just a full on taunter. Then we have Pryon Pryonosuchus following the Crocs rework, greater stunning strength, defense shattering impact. 
I'm still really happy with how I redesigned the cro how I reworked the Crocs to be. And I don't think they're OP, but they are better than they were before. And then Uneosaurus, this is just some random one I decided to throw in. With Group Nullifying Strike, Group Acceleration, just a, a raid creature that's cunning and resilient. Not too good for PvP, but good for like, uh, you know, raids. We got to the epics and we have- wait a second, hold on. Ooh, did I skip the Ceratosaurus? I think I did. Whoops. There we go. Now you can see it there. It has a- it has the same intimidation? It does have the same intimidation ability, okay. Now we can move on to a Frovenator, which I added to the Ceratosaurus animation. I think I want to go in depth in, with Ceratosaurus in the future. I might just do a little sketchbook and then just have... Actually, I have a new toy Ceratosaurus now, so I can use that to like use an example of how I want the uh, Ceratosaurus animation to go, rather than just give it the counterattack theropod animation. What are you, wild card as well? Wild card as well. Fear Strike, Intimidating Strike over regular Intimidation. Again, thanks to Prehistoric Bean for the idea. Also, oh, I forgot. I have to mention this, as this is episode one. Fear, I reworked Fear Strike to be a better, except now it's kind of the same. Because uh, the thing about, I just wanted to separate it from Defense Shattering Strike. Give it that extra, I can't use words. Striking Impact, Spose Encounter, on Escape Shattering Strike, not to be confused with Shattering Ramp, with a uh, on Escape Rampage, all these resistances of Rovenator. I only ever heard about it in Dinosaur King. Day Ogon, Group Defense Shattering Strike. This is just like the ultimate group shatter. I think everyone decided Day Ogon should have Group Shattering Rampage at the same time, except they removed Group Shattering Rampage, so it's like it just exists for some, it exists, but at the same time it doesn't exist, so it's like kind of annoying. Ooh, Dinosuchus. This is a fun one. Everyone loves Dinosuchus, and of course, I love it too. Big ol' alligator. Biggest alligator to ever walk the earth. There's all of its stats. I should also mention I'm not including hybrids in this little video. Only non-hybrids. Non-hybrids can get like their, like, I don't know, whatever. Cleansing Shattering Strike. This is the Dire Wolf here. Ferocious Strike. Rending Takedown. No escape. I love the wolves in this game. They're like perfectly... They're not perfect, but they're, like, well-rounded. They have, like, terrible health, but the, everything else just makes up for it. Good. Fierce abilities, no escape. It's all good. It's all solid. That's what I, how I describe the wolves. And I have even more epics in the Dinosaur King. Dinosaur King epics, and I do rares. I, no, I think I might have more. Yeah, hang on. Anyway, Dryosaurus is here. It's similar to the Uneosaurus, except, uh... You can just take a look at the stats. I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much, it's just that this is kind of a lot. I'm kind of uninterested in doing these guys again. I'd rather, but I need to do something to like start off the, the show. Just show off everything I've created. Gate! Based off of the Caprosuchus from Jurassic Park Builder, the inspiration that's behind uh, one of my fan-made characters that, again, no one knows, but I don't blame you because I never introduced them. Made it OP because I love this thing. Grim. This is the only, the only... Even then, I say I want this guy in the game, but Grimm is dead. So it's like, is there a point? Then again, so are Charlie Echo and Delta, so... Whatever. Add Grimm. Just add all the berries Grimm, but I would rather have Toro in the game, which I'm just gonna skip to right now, because I really like Toro. I might rework you a bit, because I think you might be a tad too weak. Yeah, you are way too weak, actually. I need to rework you in the future. Ichthyostega. Nothing to nothing too interesting here. Except you do have medium nullifying counter, so that's something to keep in mind. Then we have Cavern. I remember someone in a live stream before, or like a, like a premiere, said they wanted someone to make Kevin, and I'm like, I already did Kevin in an April Fool's video, I think. So it's like, here we go. Here's the official Kevin roster. Like, low, lowest HP and lowest health. Uh, high speeds though. And a little bit of armor, because Kevin is, Kevin does have that armor. Kevin is a very fast creature, so I do expect him to have lots of speed. Then he has Sidestep, because he does a lot of walking and running, so I expect him to be slippery to catch. Dig and Taunt, because he does like to, like, dig and stuff. Impact and Run. Wound and Counter, because if you attack Kevin, he will make you bleed. Swap and Dodge. On Escape, Evasive Strike. Kevin is completely harmless, unless you corner him. That's when he tries to bite. Except, uh, ever since, he has never tried to bite me ever, ever again. 
Microraptor, please add this to the game. I would love this to have the Archaeopteryx animation. Actually, I'd love it to have his own animation, but I'm content with it having the Archaeopteryx animation, and I'm planning on reworking its abilities. Like, to be a better flock. That, like, just like Archaeopteryx is. Next up, we have the regular Paraceratherium. Every time I say that, I think of Slipgator when he sings Paraceratherium! Lots of health, low damage, but immune to distractions to make up for it, as well as alert deception and ferocious impact. And defense shattering devastation, so it needs that low damage. Pentaceratops, I do love me, my Pentaceratops, my favorite Ceratopsian, and I really hope I find the toy. That's probably like the... I say it's the last one I want in Mattel's line, but they're probably gonna make, I don't know, a Utah Raptor, or an Acrocanthosaurus, or a Microraptor, and I'm gonna go head over... I'm gonna, like, dig up the whole shop looking for those guys. But mostly, right now, Pentaceratops on the top of the wanted list. Already got the Scorpius and Ceratosaurus recently. It's basically meant to be... I basically made all those Ceratopsians to be reverse Triceratopses. Instead of a swap-in, they're on escapes. So, that's what I wanted them to be. And then they added Stunning Obstruction, and I'm like, oh, that works out perfectly for me. Prestosuchus, a really cool-looking creature from Jurassic World the game. Like, probably one of my favorites in that game. And, uh, here it is. A, a quick look at the... How I want the crocs to be better. You wanna make them good raid creatures? Then make them good raid creatures. Precise pier- What the heck? What happened to precise piercing counter? Why can't they just- Oh, whatever. I'll fix that later. Rampharynchus. With, the uh, the speed of the, the- 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 The Rampharynchids, or however you pronounce them. Think- Do I wanna boost these guys in the future? No, not really. I'm okay with- I'm content with how I- Oh, excuse me. I'm content with how I did them, where... They're- how they're alert, where if you threaten them, they get to a really low 8 point in their HP, they actually start fighting back really hard. The bleeds really start to hurt, and my throat is taking a beating. Stegosaurus Gen 2 is actually another one of my favorites, although I- In hindsight, I could have done, like, another type of Stegosaur, but I really want a good Stegosaurus, not the common variant. I want, like, a good- yellow lost I actually just want a lost world stegosaurus in the game and then just throw it in there with its tail high in the air looks a lot slimmer and it's actually a force to be reckoned with I want that to be an epic just like the allosaurus gen 2 I, I don't like the common allosaurus but I really really like the allosaurus gen 2 and now for the only uh well aside from dinosaur king the only uh non-hybrid legendary I've ever made Rexy a unique Tyrannosaurus Rex, because, you know, everyone wants the, t the Tyrannosaurus Rex with the scars. I mean, I think it could work as a skin, but blue is in the game, so yeah, skins aren't an option, just add another T-Rex, make it a legendary, and then actually make legendaries obtainable in the wild. Like, they spawn, but actually let us throw them in the sanctuary so we can farm their DNA, instead of just, you have to walk around the beach, and then you have to you cross one by chance. What are it's- did I give you a- I think I gave you an attack buff, oh my! And a higher crit chance, uh, same HP, all of your abilities are group shattering, plus refresh, so you can heal yourself every now and then, your base- someone compared this thing to Tenontorex, and I'm like, sure, it's exactly- you can call- you can say that, it's exactly the same, except you can stun this thing, so, yeah. And then I have all the apexes here, holy smokes, so many here, there- I mean, I guess- I could go through. I haven't really give, come up with designs for all of them, but I had made a lot of them for future episodes, and now I have to go through all of them again. And you know what? I think these guys deserve their own little video where I just go through. I design all of them, I take photos of all of them, and I just give them all their own little video. I think that'll. Come to think of it, I should have just done that. I should have just opened episode one with the apexes. Sure to nine. Ah, whatever. Save that for episode six. Episode 6 confirmed! We're just gonna cover all the Apexes! Even the ones that I- that I'm probably gonna be- let's see. What are the next episodes gonna be? I'm gonna cover Pterosaurs, definitely, so Valkyrie Dawn's gonna come. Then Stegosaur's gonna do like them, and... Who would next- who would be next? Who was next? And I'm probably gonna do Raptors next. Or, no, no, not Raptor, because I'm still struggling to design the- that Raptor. I'm gonna do the Spinosaurus, since I already have all of them, uh... I'm pretty happy, content with how I designed the Spinosaurus, even though it does seem 
uh, I remember one person commented that he doesn't like the idea of Spinosaurus only being able to bleed and rend, because that would make them useless against creatures like Monolo Rhino. And, uh, but then I do... Spino Constrictor's a thing, and that thing can apply two stacks of bleed and rip away all of your health in a single turn. So, Soul Solvit is still... I, I still stand the way it is, but maybe I might rework them to have, like, a, maybe one type of damaging attack. I do like the idea of just having a rending sort of creature, but... Who knows? Only the future will hold, tell what happens next. And uh, that's where I'm going to have to end this video, guys. I'll uh, see you in episode 2, where we will cover the Pterosaur, the Pteranodon animation. Bye! <laughs>